Nintendo kicked off the morning of Tuesday at E3 with a press conference full of some familiar faces and some surprises. And now we've got Nintendo game right here on stage. Super Mario Maker joining me, Ali Rap from Nintendo Treehouse. Ali, welcome to the stage. Yay! Nintendo time! Yay. Uh, this is one of many Nintendo games you're going to be bringing by this yeah, time around because you guys be have a big lineup. Super BFM. It's going to be exciting. Well, you're going to meet some of my friends too. We have oh, a lineup okay. of right. iconic hosts that our people <laughs> love to see year I after year. I need your year. autograph. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we're kicking it off with Super Mario yeah. Maker. People getting to make their own Marios. Yes. Stages. Yes. Blocks. <laughs> make their own Marios. Wherever you want. That's for fan art. Yeah, it's like kind of fan, your own like fan art. Fan your art Marios. Is yeah. Like a big kind of more and more a thing, especially yeah. with Wii U. Yeah. Uh, Splatoon fan art is basically my favorite thing to look at Isn't on the it internet great? now. It's magical. The Beaverse art? Yes. Yeah. It's All the super cool. Yeah. But in good. Mario Maker, you're creating a level. Yep. Art, playable art, if yes. you will. Everyone uh, is a game designer. And so uh, we're going to take a look at some stages here. Yeah, we are. So what we're seeing is uh, actually the Course World, which is the online portion of, uh, or one of the online portions of Super Mario Maker. Okay. And so with Course World, what you can do is you can sort through all of the stages that people from around the world have created. So say, for example, that you want to play a really, really hard stage. You can sort by difficulty. Like I'm talking like Lost Levels Plus. Yeah. I want it to get real nasty. Real nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Does it? Do people nasty. make real mean stages? Uh, they do, yeah. Some of those people are in Treehouse. Are you one of these people, I'm Allie? actually not. Okay. I'm really, really bad at making stages. <laughs> But, um, yeah, some of them get really tough. And so you can sort by difficulty. You can sort by um, all kinds of things. Like, you can follow friends uh -huh. um, so that you can kind of keep updated with when they're making stages so you can play their stages. Can you follow someone? Like, say you happen to download Kristen's stage and, like, yeah. damn, this Kristen is good. Like, yeah. you, you follow that person? For yeah, so, like, if you play a stage that you like, you can say, oh, I really want to follow this creator, even if, even if you don't know who it is. You nice. know, you just like, you like their stage. You want to see what else they do. Um, or I see that a lot of people are following this creator. Maybe I could check that out. Right, yeah, yep. Um, so you can sort by, like, you know, popularity types of categories. Uh -huh. Like I said, difficulty, um, all kinds of stuff. So that's how you can find um, courses that are made better for you. I think kind of the easier stage. I'm not a very good platformer. Yeah, what's, compared to some what's kind of a stage that appeals to you? Is it uh, a certain strange design? Is it yeah. an aesthetic? Is it one where you jump around as Zelda? Or Link, rather, being able to jump as high as he can. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I mean, I deserve it. Yeah, I absolutely deserve it. It was a slip of the tongue. I'm so sorry. Never forgiving you. Um, has Link ever jumped so high me. in his little life? Has Link ever jumped? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm I guess sure he's he old off he ledges. Does, yeah, yeah, he falls <laughs> gracefully. Um, my kind of stage is the folks who can get kind of like what I like to think of as like the Nintendo design way where it Everything is intuitive. Uh -huh. um, there's challenge there, so it makes you feel like I'm smart, even yeah. though the game is kind of walking you through these challenges. But that right mix of, you know, I'm doing something, but I'm not crying while I'm doing it. Right. You're not trying. Yeah. You don't have to do it 50 times to yeah. do it. But and there are going to be stages because, you know, they're going to be stuff created from everyone you know uh -huh. in your whole life. So there are going to be stages that are going to make you want to cry. Yeah, this one is looking pretty tricky. Yeah, itself. Sarah's practiced it quite a bit, um, so she's rocking it. But you, so you notice that you're playing as um, a Link character right now. Mm -hmm. And so the way that you do that is there's something called the Mystery Mushroom. And the Mystery Mushroom is this item that you can put into question blocks. Um, basically, you can put it wherever you can put a regular mushroom, right? Okay. And a Mystery Mushroom is this thing where when you pick it up, you basically wear like a costume. So you're like costume Mario. So you can be Link, you can be Wii Fit Trainer, you can be <laughs> Isabel. I love Wii Fit Trainer, it keeps showing up. It's, I'm oh, so yeah, excited right, Wii Fit right. Trainer is a new like, member of the I stable. I don't know how that happened either, right? Like it just, it became an amiibo because there was Smash. Yep. But then people were like, I'm really digging like the weirdness of Wii Fit Trainer yeah. and it just kind of spiraled like, from there. There's this trainer next to a blooper. <laughs> sure, <laughs> that fits, that's good. So you can be Wii Fit Trainer, 
Um, and so how that works is we're not going to go into too much of the secret sauce okay. uh, quite yet because it comes out in September, so there's still a little bit of time. Um, but needless to say, if you have Amiibo, that's going to kind of expand ah, the, amiibo. the possibilities. Yes. Now, if you don't have all your Amiibo ever, you're still going to be able to use the Mushroom. Those things, are, those things are hard to get, get a handle on sometimes. I feel like I know a few people who have multiple copies of some, so they're, wow. they're hoarding it. Amiibo hoarders. I'm not going to tell you who because then everyone's going to swarm them. Do they them. refer to it as their retirement plan? <laughs> Sometimes jokingly, yeah. But the Amiibo, you know, you're going to get some bonus stuff, as yeah. you guys do, but it's not going to lock the Magic Mushroom away by any Correct. stretch. Correct, yeah, you're yeah. still going to be able to have fun with that. You're still going to be able to play some cool Mario costume characters. What the hell is going on here? Isn't This is one of my favorites, so... The one that's just like a Magic Koopa slumber party? Yeah, yeah, you get... <laughs> that's a good name like for a level, sleeping. you can use they that, Allie. They don't look Allie. like they're sleeping, yeah. <laughs> they're like fan fiction. So, <laughs> this stage has basically an infinite number of, uh, you know, the, the fire flowers. Uh -huh. um, but it has also seemingly an infinite number of enemies. So you have to keep going back, not being hit. Yeah, you got to run back to, to the through. bonfire flower, yeah. go kill enemies, make a little bit of progress, yep. back to the bonfire yeah, flower. Yeah. This is the Dark Souls level of right, Mario Maker. Right, so, you know, we're showing that there's all kinds of different things you can do. You can create short stages, you can create big stages, you can create stages with lots of enemies, you can create stages with no enemies but really hard jumps. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just all about, like, what kind of Mario stage you want to make. And sometimes, like I am like I said, I'm really not good at making. Very I modest stop, of you to I, say. I yes. stink real bad. Okay. <laughs> I stink. You would have to go full self-deprecation. I stink real bad. <laughs> um, but, so, that actually is why I really am excited about the online stuff. Because at first I was like, oh, cool, uh, I can create Mario stages. Oh, oh what do I do? Sounds I guess I'll make some pipes. <laughs> There's got to be a leg. I think maybe I can put something in there. I don't know. <laughs> um, and so this ability to like see what other people are making, to sort by maybe I'm really feeling uh, masochistic and I'll try really hard stage one day. Give it a shot. Load it up. I right, right. This. Or maybe I'm really feeling just like I just want to take it easy. I just want to play some fun, easy levels. Uh -huh. um, just being able to see the creativity of other people is, is for me, going to be what's most exciting. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, Creativity also, now when you when a creator sort of makes their stage, yeah. do they pick an aesthetic? Because they you've got Super Mario Brothers, yep. Super Mario 3, yep. Super Mario World, yep. new Super Mario Brothers? Yep. And we're seeing it, or we will soon, um, on gameplay. So we're seeing the creation option. Look at that and little Mario. Fly through the realm. If Whoa! only life was that easy. And what you can do is you can change the type, the course type, so yeah. you can go from, you know, like you said, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Bros. 3, etc. And you can also change the course theme. And what the course theme, theme is, is uh, like you've got the ground level, you've got like a ghost house, you've got underwater, you've got uh, castles. And you Lava can, world, ice world. Right, right. Yeah. And so you can only pick one course type per stage. So okay. you can't have like mixing generations, but you can mix themes. So you could, oh, for example, okay. start out underwater, go into a pipe or a door, and then end up like in a ground yes. part of the stage. Okay. Um, so you can mix themes. Nice. Yeah. All right. So we're just this is a little stylus demo. Yeah. With very well manicured. Yeah. Very well bottle. manicured. Uh, the oh, you got to make a Goomba. I don't even know if she can hear me. I like when they float. Floating kind Goombas. Kind of helplessly. Have it's you like, seen this yet? I'm out of my element. I don't really, yeah. I mean, I'll give it a shot, you yeah, guys, yeah, but really, yeah. could you, Yeah. maybe a gig maybe on land would be better. Oh, <laughs> and she also, um, Sarah, our game player, she's shaking the Koopa Troopas. Wait, she's, she's doing this right now. She's doing this right now. Yeah, this is live gameplay. But it's not, whose hand is that? Do you get to pick the hand that you use? Do you guys have, <laughs> sometimes you guys have you downloadable hands? <laughs> sometimes you might notice that there's like a cat paw, yeah, which is my favorite part. Nice. Um, but, so you can shake certain things, like, for example, some enemies, um, some of the like items, and they'll change. So uh -huh. the Koopa Troopa becomes a red Koopa Troopa, which if you're familiar with kind of this very deep canon of Mario enemies, Absolutely. the red Koopa Troopas are a little bit more aggressive. They don't like fall off of ledges, etc. They follow you. Yeah. Um, and you can also shake items. So if we look at the palette when she pulls it up, um, there we go. So we see two lines right now. Yeah. You'll have those five filled in the full game, in the final, in the final game. 
Um, the sixth one, the sixth bar is your custom bar. So you can like, if you want a bar of all green, you can have a bar of all green, so you can pull it up. I'm so a you green can man. You can customize your palette. Yeah. yeah. And, and go for the aesthetic you want, obviously, yeah. making funny shapes and making uh, funny, Oh, are we thinking of specific things. funny shapes? Well, there's a lot of funny shapes in the world, butts Allie. Before, butts before are we started. a funny shape. Yeah, butts funny shapes. <laughs> uh, you guys can allow butt levels in Super Mario Maker I within just reason. To see. <laughs> How general of a butt does it look? Yeah. yeah. Who's on butt watch for Mario Maker? Yeah. Yeah. Butt watch. Nintendo's got this all figured yeah, out. Yeah. The magician. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's Super Mario Maker. Yeah. September. September. Fantastic. For the on Wii the 11th. Alley Rap, thank you so much for coming by, yeah, showing us off. For us. Looking forward to more Nintendo awesomeness as E3 continues. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we're going to take, like, total 180 from Mario Maker and Nintendo. Daniel Dwyer is going to come on, take off, kick off his segment with Hitman. It's going to be good. Stay tuned.